This is a demonstration of the NE555P IC, used as an A-stable multivibrator, which out outputs a clock signal visually displayed on this LED. The frequency of this clock signal is determined by the resistance of this resistor, which this capacitor has to charge through. In this case, it is one mega ohm. This is what is inside the 555. It is in composed of three main parts, the voltage divider, uh, the comparators, and the SR latch. The voltage divider is made up of three equal resistors, uh, which provides a reference point for two-thirds and one-third of the input voltage to compare against. For the comparators, an LM358 PIC is used, which contains two comparators that take two inputs and output either a high or low signal, depending on which input had higher voltage. By connecting the, capa the capacitor to the positive pin of one and the negative pin of the other, we can tell when the voltage of the capacitor is greater than two-thirds of the input voltage or less than one-third. The final part of this is the SR latch. This is a type of latch made using NOR gates with the outputs tied to the opposite input to make the two gates reliant on each other. This creates a system where a high signal on one input will store one state until the latch receives a high, in high signal on the opposite input. Both inputs being high at the same time is an unstable state and can only be maintained as long as both are high. This latch has two outputs, an inverted one and a non-inverted one. The inverted output is wired to the base pin of a transistor that will control whether the capacitor is charging or discharging. <clears throat> uh, the other is run through an inverter gate, in this case, a NOR gate with both inputs tied together is used as an inverter gate um, and can be used, sent off as a PWM output signal or clock signal. This creates a loop of the capacitor charging, triggering the first comparator, flipping the latch, discharging, triggering the second comparator, and so on. This is an example of how the PWM signal can be used. Here, it is being used for the clock and latch inputs of a 595 shift register, which is being used to drive a bar graph. This means that whatever is received on the data pin will be shifted through the register on every rising edge of the PWM sig sig signal. There is also a potentiometer in place of the one mega ohm resistor for variable frequency.